Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back here. We're with a brand new spanking video. Actually, actually, hold on. This is a depressing video. Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back here again with a brand new video. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just playing. What's good, YouTube? I'm back here again with a brand new spanking video. And as you guys can see by the title, we got some stuff to talk about. But I'm not gonna do to my room. I, I, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I was gonna go, like, across town, but I'm kinda lazy. And it is actually the morning as I'm uploading this because, as you guys know, yesterday, I didn't fucking sleep. I was up for about 31 hours before I ended up going to bed. Got home, took a three hour nap, didn't want to do anything yesterday. So yeah, that, that's that's how my day went yesterday. Final spot to, you know, talk about this big freaking topic that I posted a tweet about a little bit ago. It's a little, it's, it's a little depressing, but I just want to talk to you guys about it. It is a really freaking nice day outside, which is kind of weird. Because yesterday, we were actually in a freaking tornado warning. Like last night, it, it was freaking bad. It was downpouring crap outside. But that's a really nice day outside today. There's a park up here that I think I'm gonna go to. There was a park in the middle of town that I was gonna, but it's too far. Park way over here. Now I have no idea where. I might just plot down at this table or something. Not many other spots, so fuck, we're just gonna go down this table. Oh my god, it's fucking itchy over here, bro. Hopefully it's not too bright for you guys, I don't know. Okay, but as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about some real stuff. So this is the day that I was told I potentially could have cancer, as you guys can see by the title. That's nothing, nothing surprised here. All right, so basically what was going down, this happened, I wanna say either early, early May or end of April, really, really late April, because my sister was still in school and everything. But basically, I was having a bunch of pain. The one's not too bad, I'm sorry if it is. But like, upper, like, body pain, like I couldn't sleep. It was fucking hard for me to see. It was like the biggest pain I've ever had in my life. Sharp pain, it wasn't like just pain, it was sharp as fuck. So basically, like after a few days of that, I lived with it for like three days without doing anything about it. No pro, no, I, no ibuprofen, no nothing. I was just straight dealing with it. One night, this was that night, and decided to go in the morning. I was like, yo, dad, I gotta go to the freaking hospital, because it was bad, I gotta go to the ER. So. We went to the ER and everything. I wasn't expecting nothing of it. Besides maybe some IV, some IV pill would make me feel a little bit better. But you know, things didn't go as planned as you guys could probably tell. So we talked to the nurse and everything, you know, we, we like started the freaking procedure, whatever. And then I had to wait an hour for the doctor. I was at the hospital for five fucking hours that night. It was terrible. And I almost had to spend the night. That would have been even worse. So yeah, we went with the freaking thing. They did a bunch of CAT scans, a bunch of tests, a lot of freaking money and bills I got. This happened when my dad wasn't in the room because he like went out to like go like in the waiting room because we weren't expecting this type of shit to go down. So at first he told me, which is what I think it might have just been because he said this possibility, but there's some sort of disease that... I don't know, it's like a disease, but like not a disease because it goes away, it, you don't keep it. Because it's the first time it's ever happened in my entire life. There's no after all the testing and crap. And then like we waited a little bit longer. I had to take x-rays, I had to do all that crap. And then like my dad was in the room like I said. But um, so my um, doctor went in to tell my dad first before he told me. Oh my god, this, this is fucking hard to make to be honest because it's scary thinking about it. He came in the room, I knew it wasn't good because my dad came with him and they were like, they weren't like, well, they weren't happy before, but you could just tell by their freaking mood. The doctor told me that there's a possibility I could have cancer, which I'm, try I'm trying not to like tear up a little bit because it's fucking scary to think about. Look what's over here. This is why it's so hard to make this video over here. Look at that crap. Bunch of trucks and crap. Okay, so the doctor told me I could have cancer. And I was just like, 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 I heard him say I'm sorry to tell you, like, afterward or something or some crap. Wow, there's another freaking semi going past. God damn, I picked a bad spot to do this video. Like, after I heard him say I'm sorry, I kind of like blanked out, bro, bro, I'm so fucking bright. Oh my god. But I kind of like blanked out and I was like thinking about like my future. Like, like I saw like my whole life within the span of a fucking five seconds it was it was the scariest scariest thing ever like when someone tells you this like i know not everyone hears this but like it feels like they just like pull your heart out and just just squish it, it it's it's so fucking scary guys bro oh, god but um showed me some x-rays and stuff and what it was was like this, there was a piece and i don't know if it's still there if it's not cancer then it's well it's it's probably still there but it, it was like like right here I think it was or my lung one of the two I can't remember but like I had like a little white like circle and it looked like a tumor to me which kind of scared me he said he didn't like mention tumor but it was still like it, it's a white spot and it's like a circle it, it looked like a freaking tumor to me it was like the size of a freaking golf ball we went through all that I got home like at two in the fucking morning I was like 
just, just in the car. I was like, no fucking way, bro. And the worst part about what was it, to be honest, was like my dad telling my mom, because she fucking just, she was in bad shape for like a week. It was freaking awful, man. Like, I heard my dad call my mom, like, in the same room, and she, I could, I could literally hear her start fucking bawling, bro. It was, it was terrible. So we got home. We scheduled two more appointments about a week later. I went to the same hospital, did some testing, don't see if it was gone or anything. It wasn't gone. And then I went to my primary doctor. You know, he told me about it. He talked to me about it. What he told me is that there's a 70% chance I don't have cancer and a 30% chance that I do have cancer. But still literally scared the crap out of me because it's still 30 freaking percent. That's a lot of percent. Especially when it has to do with freaking like cancer or something. He told me a 70% chance I don't and a 30% chance I do. And he even said the same thing, which I would have agreed with, that he said the 30% still scares the hell out of him. Yeah, I don't think I really had too much, like, going on after that. Just a bunch of freaking testing and crap. I was supposed to have, like, a final appointment to see if I finally do. Like, fuck, a month after I freaking had the original appointments. It was supposed to be, like, when my sister went to school, I was supposed to get up, but I guess my dad tried waking me up, but I didn't wake up, so I didn't even fucking go, which is kind of bad. But I'm not gonna know, probably until, like, early, early September, if I do, to be honest, that I got my appointment August 29th. And, um, what they were originally gonna do is, like, they gotta, they might shove, like, a needle down my throat or whatever. I don't know, down my throat, some shit. At least they're gonna knock me out, it's kinda like surgery. But to, like, find out if it's really, really cancer, which, yeah, that that's August 29th, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. So that's when I'll probably know for sure if I do have cancer, which I'll keep you guys updated or whatever. I probably, no, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog that day or whatever. If you guys have, like, even, like, a family member, like, if you've been in the room when they've, like, told you, like, when the doctor tells you that you could have cancer, literally the worst freaking feeling I've ever had in my entire life. That's one of the things you don't want to freaking hear in your life. You could have cancer is one and someone has died is the other, which I've, I've heard fucking both. Like when my grandma died, we were on the car to freaking go see her for the last time because she was going to pass away that night and we never even freaking made it. So that was fucking terrible too. So yeah, this has got to be one of the worst feelings I've ever had to feel. And like if you guys don't believe me or whatever, because I know people click me at this type of shit, which I'm not, I'm not that type of dude, but if you don't believe me, just fucking DM me on Twitter. I will gladly show you guys the about $4,000 worth of hospital bills I've had within two weeks. Like, you don't have that many hospital bills within a span of two weeks when you're a 19-year-old kid, unless it's some fucked up shit. Like, I had CAT scans, x-rays, IVs, a bunch of freaking shit. I had blood drawn, like, three or four times that fucking week. But guys, what I really want to do when I, like, grow up and stuff is I want to donate a lot of money to a bunch of freaking causes. The main two that I'm gonna probably donate money to is suicide awareness and cancer awareness or people with cancer just individuals but for today's video i'm actually gonna be putting a random either cancer patient probably is what i'm thinking i'm gonna find a random gofundme and on the off chance that even anybody donuts or somehow this fucking video goes viral which i don't really care if it does it's just me talking you know if you have enough money whatever donate i don't know who it's gonna be i literally don't even know i'm just gonna go find a random gofundme it's gonna be at the top link in the description Go donate or whatever. I'm not even gonna know the kid. But yeah, I wanna donate to suicide and cancer when like I get older and like well I could now but like if I if somehow this YouTube thing works out I'm probably gonna be donating a lot of freaking money to cancer and suicide. Cause that's just what I wanna do. I wanna help people out. I'm getting a tattoo here really, really soon. It's gonna say one man can change the world right here. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, man. I don't think I missed anything. Just a really, really scary day. And I still don't know for sure. But let's say, guys, if um I do have it, I'm not going to stop making YouTube videos because it's my passion. Like, I get happy just turning on the camera making videos. Even if it's this video, I was glad to finally get this off my chest. Yeah, if you don't believe me, I'm not this type of person, but I would have told you at the end of the video, but I'm not going to. But yeah, just DM me on Twitter. I will show you guys the $5,000, $4,000 worth of freaking hospital bills I have. It's it's a lot. But if you guys have go donate if you can. You don't have to, but I'm just putting it down there just just for the just for the fuck of it, just in case. But if I enjoy the content, as always, I will see all you beautiful next one later.